So today we're shooting with one of my favorite artists, Nick DeRoast. We landed on this really cool video um, tutorial that Lisa Eldridge did. Lisa Eldridge is one of my makeup artists that I've worked with um, many times over the years. She basically does this coal eye using real coal. For me, like a really strong coal eyeliner would be something I would wear for a night out or kind of when I, you know, maybe a photo shoot more editorial that's really strong, kind of empowered, sexy look. Um, a little bit rock and roll, so we're going to recreate that. I'd like to do something slightly different today and dedicate the entire video to one makeup item. I've chosen coal because it's one of the most enduring and popular cosmetics ever. As we don't have coal, do you not have coal? Or a museum <laughs> to make one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I reckon we can recreate a coal eyeliner, like a modern day coal eyeliner. Yeah. With eyeliner. Yeah. I love that look. I think it's really cool. It's so cool. When I'm doing like eyeliner, I always usually start with like, um, I like to do it because I've got light eyes, so I mm -hmm. like to do it mine with a brown versus mm -hmm. a black. Yep. Like, so it's like a chocolate, and then I like to go into the waterline, like really deep into the, like, into the very close, like, edge of my, like, lash line with, with a black. Okay. I Perfect. love these Marc Jacobs eyeliners for girls that, like, struggle with eyeliner like me. Yeah. They're just so easy to use, and they, like, glide on really quickly. And then I think I'll do this, like, really, should I do the green or the gray? I liked those two a lot. Can you mix them? I mean, I could. We could do That's anything. That's a cool color, too. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the matte Marc Jacobs, and it's in Earthquake. Okay. The Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crayon. Okay. And then I'm going to use the Micro Liner from Bare Minerals One Fine Line. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sorry. <I'm> popular. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm gonna use this mascara, the Marc Jacobs okay. um, Velvet Noir. I'm going to um, do... And I'm actually going to use the Chantecaille one as well. Okay. I like to use this one to get the shape of my lashes, and then this one to really intensify the, the color because it's really dark, this one. I really like to use this just to give myself a little bit of all-over glow and okay. a little bit of contour, but I think it's more about the blush and then a natural lip, a really strong eye. Cool. Do you think we can do it? I think we can do it. Maybe not as good as Lisa. I feel like I'm, little, I'm I'm scared to see myself this way. I might look scary, but that's the good thing about makeup is that you um, get to try. And if it sucks, I you can, can wipe it, it off. off. Yeah. So I'm gonna just turn my hair back. I always like to turn my hair back when I'm doing my makeup. Do you feel like it's like makes you more? No, I just see more. Okay. And I love these scrunchies so much. Are you taking you everything these? off? No, I'm gonna take my eyes off. Like mascara or no? Mascara off. And I'm gonna touch up my skin a little bit. These are the best ones I've ever found because they're really gentle. I they're always Japanese. use, I use a makeup wipe first as like my first cleanse and then I Do you? cleanse with real makeup or like face cleanser as a second. Cause the wipe feels like it gets everything off so that when I wash my face with a cleanser, it really like is able to clean it really well. Mm. I'm gonna do my eye first and then touch up everything else after because I feel like we might get fallout or things like that that we should do everything else at the end once we see the eye, since that's like the hero. Remember the first time we met? Yeah. And it was actually on a rose ink video? Yeah. I was nervous. Aww. I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> You're scary. Am I? Yeah. If someone doesn't know you, you're scary. Am I? You don't think you're scary? No. I definitely don't think I'm scary. I think you're scary. I feel like cat eyes are so personal. Most of the time when I'm doing people's makeup, I'll make them kind of do their own cat eye and then I'll just perfect it because I feel like we all have a certain way that we like to see our liner. I always do this. I pull my eye. Yeah, and I start from the, I usually start from like the outer corner, like that. I'm now going to use like a, a brush and I'm going to like kind of buff it out to make it a bit thicker. And I feel like this makeup look to me is going to be about layering a lot of eyeliner. Yeah, but you've made such a good start. I like that she smudges it though. 
I hate when liner looks are too perfect. Yeah. I'm still using the Marc Jacobs Earthquake um, Gel. It's called the Highliner Matte Gel Crayon. I have to be really careful with my eye because it's quite round underneath. I'm going to just kind of cheat it around my eye. So I'm using this Armani one and I love it because it, I feel like it's very coal like and I want it to look kind of blended. I think I want to kind of go with that inspiration of an Egyptian shape and take my inner corner and draw it out a little bit. It's definitely like wearing a mask, a look like this, and it definitely doesn't make your eyes look bigger, but I think if you get the right shape around your eye, it can be really sultry and sexy, but it is all about getting the right shape. Like for me, my eyes are like quite round on the bottom, and so, so you have to kind I have of to like, like go make it thicker there. on the edges and thinner here. Yeah. Which is not happening right now. I'm slightly panicking. Well, here. <laughs> Do you want this? Yeah. The thing that people don't realize, even as a professional, is like, is makeup and shapes take time and Q-tips and trial and error. Like, it's hard to nail it first shot. You have to kind of play till you get to the right spot. Okay, I think for this look, it's really important to get that upper waterline. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that with this really fine um, liner from Bare Minerals. It's called One Fine Line, and this is in the black, so this is where I think I'll get real intensity. This is never an attractive look doing, like, the faces you have to make to get, to get the look. I mean, you'll probably look attractive. No, I don't. So now I'm going to just really like rub this right into the lash line. I like that it's not for, this is like not black though. It's just really, really dark green. The, the tone is really, it's really good. I kind of feel like if you don't put lashes on though, it just looks really weird. It needs like a little oomph. Do you um, watch uh, any um, tutorials in general, like before you get ready or to get inspiration. Well, you know what's funny is um, probably like, how many years ago? Five, maybe five years ago, Lisa was the first person that I ever saw on YouTube that I kind of related to. Yeah. I really liked her technique, her and Monica Blunder. I, mm -hmm. Those two, I used to watch and I'd be like, wow, they're really doing it right. I love learning from all different types of people because even if someone doesn't have the same um, makeup taste as me, I still learn techniques that yeah. I would never learn. Or I love watching um, drag makeup. Drag makeup is, in, is incredible. I also don't like to make them too, I mean, you, it's like you want them symmetrical, but not too perfect. I'm not obsessing over it. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I think for this, double flares. My favorite lash color of all time is the Kevin O'Quan lash color, really? but this is long con. Oh. oh, you want to know what I want to show you? Oh, is that the jade, like lifter thing? No, I haven't used it. Is it lovely? Yes, it's incredible, and they also do like a you whole thing, try it next like time. down your neck oh, wow. and like through. And I get a lot of headaches too from life. And this, honestly, just pushing this down your neck, it's so good. I'm obsessed with this tool. I'm just like really throwing on this um, mascara, like really layering it up. Yeah. This is the Chef to Kai mascara. Oh, people. Should I try the um, false lash thing? Yes, you have to. Okay. I want you to get it Short down. Short black, and then should I do the double flares? Then? Yeah. How many did you put in one eye? Mm, I think I probably at least six, maybe. Okay. So kind of think about when you go in, like with the glue and you're putting it on, swipe up the bottom part of your lashes, give it like a little swipe, and then kind of place it. Hold the lash like at the very t like hold it more towards the tips. Okay. Yeah. Gentle. Okay. And then you can do it. Whoa. 
You're just like freestyle. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How did you do that? Just take two like that. Oh my. Dunk them in the glue. Next level. Those ones were good too. Yep. Just getting cocky. <laughs> So now I'm just going to take this flat brush and just to sharpen like the edge here, I'm just going to um, get a little bit of the eyeliner onto the directly onto the um, brush, and then I'm going to just intensify this line here that I've created with powder. Sometimes it's like good to create the line with like a powder or. Or something because these eyeliners from Marc Jacobs are, are like gel so they, they're not um, liquid liner but they're not pencils either so this is this is the by Terry cellular rose brightening serum so I'm just going to use this a little bit of this under the eye because um, I'm going to touch up under my eyes again but I just want something a little bit moisturizing under the eye before I put um, Concealer on. Wow. Pro. Okay, now I'm just gonna I'm gonna um like contour and bronze with the Soleil Tan de Chanel. <laughs> You're gonna make it look Does it feel like this is your next career? It was either a career in a previous life or it's definitely gonna be in my next one. I want you to do But I feel like it could be in my next life in this lifetime. Mm -hmm. So then just to finish off, I'm going to do a little bit of the Shiseido Minimalist Whipped Powder Blush. And I don't think you need a lot of this. And then take the Bouge Rouge lipstick. <laughs> no, I'm jealous. Because you, yours is so much better than mine. I'm really annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's just like a, what's the word? What, what is the word? What it's do you like mismatch, botch job all the way through. <laughs> so I'm just going to have powder like just down the, the hot spots, down the nose and the forehead, underneath the eye. What do you guys think? This is going to tell all. What, no, what, how, how did I score? It's pretty good. I mean, I wonder what people's comments are going to be underneath the bottom of this. You look like a like Batman's I, wife. I feel like, well, well, that was Catwoman. But you look like Batman's like. I feel like a mistress. Look in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just. Have you got the I have so hair. many. I have. I have to. Done. I have to color my hair like every two or three weeks now. No. I swear to God. Oh, f**k, <laughs>